Hi all, Stonky Boy here. Welcome back to another video. So I've gotten a few requests to just do an updated tier list with Halloween Ends, new trilogy. There's been some time for all of the movies to really be breathing out in the world. So people are curious about my opinion on the entirety of the franchise, whether my opinions have changed, which they have since the last tier list. I have seen every single Halloween movie. I've seen Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And I have re-seen a few of the movies that I have not seen in a very long time, including Halloween 3, Halloween H20. So I decided, why not? Let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna go into it chronologically. You can probably tell from all my stuttering, this is not scripted. I am just gonna be like, movie, 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 talk about it. So chronologically, of course, that means talking about Halloween 1 first. I feel like there's not a lot to say. <laughs> Everyone just sort of anonymously, anonymously, universally agrees that this movie's great. I also love it. I recently saw this in a drive-in. It was a really fun experience. The dialogue is still really fun. I really like all the characters. I really like the final chase scene. It still leaves me on the edge of my seat. It's the best chase scene I've ever seen in a horror film. And it still to this day just has not been beaten. I really love the movie. It's great. All right, Halloween 2, more controversial opinion. I think Halloween 2 is overrated. I think it's pretty good. I really like it, but there are some things that hold it back for me. One, the brother-sister timeline. I'm not crazy about that plot line, and it starts here. I'm not crazy about how robotic Myers feels with him being so slow, it lessens the danger for me. It's like, well, oh, Lori, you should be completely fine. How does anyone die to this guy? <laughs> He's just really slow and it really takes me out of it. And strangely enough, I feel like a lot of the complaints people have with Halloween Kills actually more so applies to this one. You do get a lot of Loomis, which is nice, but the biggest one that I see a lot with Halloween Kills is Laurie Strode is just in a hospital bed. But in Halloween Kills, she at least gets to talk to her granddaughter, her daughter, Hawkins, people around her with just interesting conversations. In Halloween 2, she's like, can I get a co? She just fumbles around for like 20 or so minutes. It's just not a super fun thing for me to watch her go through. The, the only thing of real high quality that she does is shoot out Meyer's eyes at the end of the movie. I personally feel it's overrated. I still think it's really good. Do not get it wrong. I still, there's still a lot to like about it, mainly Loomis, and you get a lot of Loomis in this movie, but that is Halloween too. Halloween 3, I recently saw it and I like it. I like it. I enjoy it. I don't think it's bad. I like the Tom Atkins character. He's cool. And the the girl he hooks up with, even though she's like freaking 15, 20 years younger than him, she looks like my girlfriend. So bonus points. She's a cutie. <laughs> Fun plot. I like the festive feelings about it. I don't like it as much as some people do. I definitely don't dislike it like others. I, I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Halloween 4. I really like Halloween 4. I think Jamie's great. I think most of the cast is great. I like Rachel. Michael is really spooky in this movie. I mean, other than the mask, it's a shame. This movie with the better William Shatner mask, I can only imagine how that would feel. But in terms of like how he just acts, he does a lot. This movie's just freaking action packed from beginning to end. And Michael is just really spooky. He's very calculative. He's very cold. He's very manipulative, like acting like the cop and stuff like that. And just wiping out an entire police station, wiping out all the power. He's very, he's a thinking animal in Halloween 4 for sure. And that's Michael at its best. Halloween 5. I still hate it. I really dislike this movie. I get really bored watching it. There's lots of fake outs with Jamie seeing visions. Jamie doesn't get to do a whole lot except have visions, barely speak and say cookie woman. I'm not a fan. I really don't like Halloween 5. There's so much about Halloween 5 I don't like. If you want to see more of my thoughts, I have reviews on the majority of the, uh, these movies on the channel right now for the month of Myers. You can check out all of them. But anyways, Halloween 6. Uh... It is it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't hate it as much as five. I actually do think there's some scare sequences that are pretty neat. The characters are extremely forgettable, but I don't hate them. Every single character in Halloween 5 bothers me. Every single one. And Halloween 6, they just... I don't really have thoughts about them. They just kind of feel like husks. They, they feel empty to me. So, I don't know. It, it, but there are some cool sequences with Myers. 
some bad sequences, but there are some things in there that I legitimately like. I like the opening chase. I remember there's a sequence in which the, the main character, I don't recall her name, has to like step over Michael's body and get her kid and stuff like that. There are some tense scenes in the movie that I, that I enjoyed. And I like the mask too. The mask uh, definitely helped. Age 20, I recently saw it. And I thought what I thought it was. Uh, ooh, I'm tempted to actually put this either high C or bottom B. I don't actually really know. I'll put it low B for now. I'll put it low B. If I change my mind, I'll change my mind later. But H20, I I have a, like a roller coaster of emotions with this movie. First time I saw, it, I really liked it. I, I probably would have put it at like high B. Second time I saw, saw it, I liked it even more. But I recently saw it again, and I was like, what was I thinking? The, I, the biggest issue I have with Age 20 is Michael actually isn't a big threat until the final act of the movie because he's just road tripping. The intro is pretty cool. It's a shame they didn't use that remodel H6 mask, by the way, at the start, because that looks great. But after the intro, he's just driving for a really long time. So the movie has the issue of it just like Michael just not being a threat and you know nothing can really happen until Michael arrives. And it takes a really long time for him to get there. Of course, the mask isn't really the best. That doesn't really help its case. There are some fun characters. I like Lori's son, Lori's son. I enjoy him. I cannot recall his name at the moment, but he's cool. He's a fun character. I like him. And you know, there's some decent comedy in there. Some stuff that actually does make me laugh. Lori herself, I prefer the age 2018 take on this sort of thing, the post-traumatic Lori Strode. I prefer that take on it. But, you know, I can see why some people prefer this one. She's just sad for a lot of the movie, and that can be not so fun for me to watch at all. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's still, there's some good times. I'm not huge on the Myers actor within this film. He's very, there, there's at one point where he does the sit-up and he looks like a toddler. And sometimes when he walks, it's just, it, he, he's not my favorite. I'm sorry, Mr. Man. I'm sure it was probably just because of some weird direction I hear, like playing as Michael Myers during like 90s, late 80s. It was really weird because the directors gave weird directions. I'm not entirely sure, but I just wasn't crazy with how Michael's portrayed in this movie. The ending's great though. Great ending, fantastic ending, like the ending. Um, and then what do we have after that? Resurrection! Resurrection! I saw Resurrection again. It's pretty bad. It is it is worse than I remember it being. It's not... Jason X, I think, is a much more it's so bad, it's good kind of thing. I think it does that way better than Resurrection does. This... Oh, my dog is barking. Oh. All right, I think she's done barking. Okay, so we were talking about Resurrection. Yeah, it's just not very, it's not very funny. Buster Rhymes is, you know, unironically one of the better parts of the movie. He feels like one of the only actors that actually wants to be there. The opening sequence is okay. It's okay. There are some things that I enjoy more in Resurrection than Five. Five has, like, two scenes I enjoy. There's, like, a few things I can find enjoyment in Resurrection. Not very much, but there's a few. There's a few things but it's mostly pretty not good. So after that, after Resurrection, the Rob Zombie films, uh, the first one, eh, meh, meh. My problem with the Rob Zombie films, one, most of the dialogue is pretty bad. I'm not crazy, I've said it several times. I'm not a fan of the Myers take. He feels a lot more like a Jason Leatherface killing all out of emotion killing out of anger, all that sort of stuff. He has a clear motive and goal. I've said it to nauseam. It's not my take. If you like it, good for you. It's not for me. It just isn't. I recently saw Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. It is my <coughs> new least favorite Halloween movie ever made. If you guys remember last year, it was Halloween 5. I actually did not think Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 would beat it, but it did beat it. Other than the opening sequence, and I do like the take initially on Laurie's post-traumatic stress or whatever, the, the ideas that are thrown there, but like the dialogue hurts it so much. I hate the dialogue. The officer who just loves dead people a little too much and has a vocabulary of about three words. I'm not very big on that. And then there's also just, I, I remember there being a actual good bit of talking with Laurie and Daniel Harris. Lori Annie, 
Lori Annie, I remember near the start, I actually did like the, the dialogue. It was okay at that point. But as soon as Lori went to her job with her co-workers, I remember cringing all the time, every time. I remember seeing one person in my comments saying, oh, I think Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 is better directed than Halloween Kills. I don't really get that because all the action in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 is like camera shaking and stuff. Like it was really hard to tell like what was happening at time. I didn't think the sequences were that great. I didn't, there wasn't a lot to like other than the intro and a little bit with Lori talk, but most of the movie I was really just waiting for it to end. It was an hour half movie and it felt like it was three hours. I've heard the director's cut is better. Maybe I'll give it a watch at some point, but I don't know if I want to risk wasting my time again. Halloween 2018. Uh, I like Halloween 2018 quite a bit, so this could differentiate. I don't remember where I put it last year. I might have put it in S tier, actually. 2018 is a sequel that has changed and fluctuated in my mind, but I really like 2018. Obviously, I, I prefer Michael being a motiveless character that just kills people for a reason that you don't quite understand. I don't mind hints and teases as to what his motive might be, because I think that adds to the fun of the character, because if he's completely just a robot, I don't think he's interesting either. But it, the nice happy balance of like finding like what exactly is it, and there's some clues for the audience so they can piece together their own solutions. I like the take on Myers. I love James U. Courtney as Michael. I think he's easily my favorite sequel, Michael Myers. By far, my favorite. But the, it's a very safe sequel. It's very safe. It follows a lot of the the same beats that the original does. It's a, I guess, yeah, like many have said, requel. It's a requel, right? Michael escapes, Michael kills people. There's enough changes, and of course, there's the final showdown with Lori and Michael at the end. I still feel like it's like a bit too... For, for me, it feels like it's a little too quick. A little too quick. But I enjoy most of the characters. Uh, Karen, I liked by the end, but for most of the movie, I wasn't huge on her, but I don't know if you're supposed to enjoy her. I like... Uh, what's his face? Ray. I enjoy Ray. Allison's friends. Vicky's great. Dave, eh, he feels like a throwaway sort of character. Julian's fantastic, though. Oscar, eh. Some of the characters I wasn't super crazy about. But I like the majority. I wasn't crazy about Allison either, but I don't dislike her. I don't think it's the actress's fault at all. I think she does a very fine job in the acting position. I'm actually re reading the novelization for Halloween 2018, and it fixes a lot of the issues that I have with the movie so far. Like with Allison, it just didn't feel like she liked things very much. It just didn't feel like she had very many hobbies. But from the book, they actually establish a few hobbies she has, like right from the get go and stuff like that, like things that she actually sort of enjoys in life other than just Cameron <laughs> and I guess school and family I suppose a family value woman but I don't hate her I enjoy it uh, I actually like Sartain except for that really weird scene where he puts on the mask but it's a pretty solid sequel uh, it's definitely really high up there for me I really really enjoy it Halloween Kills if you know me you know, this is my favorite sequel. I love Halloween Kills. I think it's an extremely fun movie. Some people don't really enjoy all the dialogue or all the characters. I enjoy every single character in the film. I disagree with a lot of points on which people have. I've made a video on Halloween Kills if you want to check it out going in depth as to what I think. There are a few things that have changed, unlike with Halloween 2018, which by the way, sometimes could be under four. Sometimes it could be ahead of four. It depends on the day and time. But Halloween Kills, ever since, like, uh, I, I think my second viewing, it's been my favorite sequel, and I've liked it more and more after each subsequent viewing. I really enjoy it. Uh, a lot of the, uh, a lot of people say all the hospital scenes suck. I only think the only hospital scene that is just, that I dislike is the actual scene where they're chasing down the man that they think is Michael Myers. I don't remember his name, so I call him Cobblepot little penguin cobblepot i'm not really big on that scene i feel like that plot line could have been handled so much better some people don't enjoy some of the hokey dialogue i think it adds to the campy fun i enjoy it i just think it's a really really fun slasher and that's all i could ask for if you have me enjoying the movie then that more power to you and especially michael myers my my personal favorite slasher right his the take that they have on kills is fantastic very cool. I mean, it's just a continuation of 2018, but he's the main focus of the film. 
So obviously there's just more spooky Myers action with Michael just being absolutely terrifying. He's once again a thinking animal. In 1978, he's more of a methodical, plotting character. In this, in Halloween Kills, you can see how quickly Michael can improvise and turn a situation into an advantageous one. It's really, uh, he's cold, malicious. It's just a fun movie. It's a very nice thrill ride. I think it's a good amount of fun. It's a very simple movie. I like that it doesn't just retread the original though. I like that it's the town of Haddonfield versus Michael Myers. Very simple premise, new. A lot of people would say, oh, that's Halloween 4's. Halloween 4 was just a bunch of hillbillies with shotguns, like four or five people against Michael, maybe some cops. It really feels like it's like the entire town rising up against Michael. I like it so much. Favorite mask in the film. I love James Hugh Courtney. I love every character, unlike 2018, where some felt a little wonky to me. I like Lonnie. I like Cameron. I like Marion. Marion doesn't get a ton to do, but I do like her. And by that, I mean she mostly just serves as sort of a mouthpiece for Loomis's words, but I still enjoy her. Lindsay, Tommy, Cameron, Lonnie, all the characters within the film uh, I enjoy. Even Cobblepot I like. I just think the, the hospital scene is too much. I think there was a much better way to do it. There, It's definitely a little exposition heavy in certain situations. It's not a perfect film, but I have so much fun with it. I just think it's a great roller coaster. Halloween ends! The poster child, the very new movie, where will I put it? I'm sure a lot of people are curious because I have said several times that I like the movie, I don't love it though. So like, mm, where's it gonna go? Do I like it more than Halloween 2? Do I like it more than Season of the Witch? More than 4? You could probably not more than 4. Does it go in A tier? Does it go in B? Does it go in C? Where am I gonna put it? Let's talk about the movie for a little bit first. Let's talk about the movie for a little bit. We're gonna put it at C tier for now. It, it is in C tier, but let's talk about it before I give it its final ranking. So Halloween Ends is very different, right? It is super, super different. Corey is introduced, which there's the positives and negatives here. I really think Corey's an interesting character. I really, really like Corey. I think he's super cool. I think he's very fascinating. I like Laurie in this movie. This is actually, whoa. Uh, there's an ad playing. Excuse you, I'm making a tier list. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is my favorite take on Lori since the original, if not even more so than the original. Kind of like how Halloween Kills is my favorite Michael Myers movie. I think Halloween Ends might be my favorite Lori Strode movie. I like seeing Lori move on. I like seeing this Lori that isn't traumatized and angry at the world. I like that she's found an inner peace and has finally been able to find move on. And I, I found it a lot more enjoyable to watch her than in H20 or in Kills or 2018. I love her in 2018 and I love her in Kills. I, in uh, H20, I like her at certain moments, other moments, not so much. But ends, I really enjoyed watching Lori. It made me very happy to see that she could finally find her inner peace. And I think it's a very good conclusion for Lori Strode. I love it as a Lori and Corey movie. Poor Allison though, but, but going off of the Lori and Corey thing, I can, I can absolutely see people's problems with Corey. I think Corey, like many, should have been introduced in 2018 as a possible, he, he didn't even have to be dating Lori. I, Lori, pfft. he didn't have to be dating Allison. I don't think it necessarily had to be Cameron. I think at some point though, that there should have been a tease that the two might like each other. And then from the time jump from kills to ends, they could have been dating. I really just don't, <sighs> I like him enough that I can look past it, but I, it's definitely super weird that for the final movie of this trilogy with established characters and all that stuff, they decide to make the primary focus this new character that wasn't involved in the trilogy at all. I was really hoping Allison would get more to do but Allison feels sidelined and I wasn't, she's fine at the start, but then she gets way too googly eyed over freaking Corey way too quickly, way too googly eyed, just willing to ditch everything in the store. I, I just wasn't a very big fan of that take. 
poor Allison, but I love Lori in the film. I like Corey a lot. Michael, I like certain things they introduced. I like the idea of a weakened Michael, but I do feel a lot of the menace was taken away. I made an entire video on that. It's a very recent video. If you want to check that out, it's on the channel. So <sighs> there's a lot to like, but there's also things I didn't really like. But overall, I did enjoy it. I did like it. I did not hate it. I think it is a B tier. I don't think it's, it's super bad. I don't love it. I could see why certain people love the different take. I can absolutely see it. Uh, and I can see why certain people really dislike it. I think people calling it an awful movie are just upset that Michael wasn't really included a lot and there was the mismarketing. I think people are going to turn around on this movie over time. I do think it's a solid movie. I think it's decent at the very least. I don't think in any form or fashion it's a bad movie to any sense of the word. I don't think it's bad at all. I think at the very least it's decent. But I like it not as much as H2. I like all of these sequels better. But I really like it. Uh, do I want to put H20? I feel like I enjoy H20 about as much as Halloween 3. Yeah, I think it, it should be in B tier. Yeah, yeah. That is my list, though. That is where I put everything. These are my, my big old favorites, all of that. Um, some days out, 2018 changes dramatically. It depends. Sometimes I could even put it up here. Sometimes I like it less than H4. H2, uh, 2018 is probably the movie that I change my opinion the most on uh, out of all the films. Now, some people are probably going to be upset that I put uh, H6 over Rob Zombies. I just realized that. But, you know, it's my list. I, I like H6 more than Rob Zombie's Halloween. So, <laughs> people are going to probably be upset about a lot. Of, I mean, probably not about a lot of them. I think a lot of people are going to agree with my 2018 H4. I think a decent amount might agree with my H3. People would probably put H2 higher. Most people would probably agree that, you know, these all suck. And I think most would agree with this as well. But that is my list. What are your favorite Halloweens? Remember, this is just my opinion. This isn't like me saying, these are objectively the best movies. This is just how much I enjoyed the movie beginning to end. How much did I like it? And that's my list. Thank you all very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on it. If you'd want to see more tier lists, like on the Friday the 13th franchise, or I could do another tier list on the Michael Myers masks or whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe for more content like this. If you did so enjoy, please leave a like as well if you, you know, like the video. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, and I hope to see you in the next one. Hey all, just wanted to quickly say that the Winter Stocky Boy merch is here, so if you're interested, feel free to pick that up. They're going to be available for a limited time only, so do it quickly, at your own quickly leisure, if you want it. Thank you all very much for clicking on the video.